Can you teach English in South Korea? If so, what are the requirements? That's today's topic as we revisit the topic of teaching English in Korea in this edition of the Wake Up and Way podcast. Many people hear about the perks of teaching English in Korea. You can make good money, you can have your flight to Korea reimbursed, you can live either rent free or very cheap in Korea, making it sound like a very appealing possibility. But are you actually able to do it and what do you need to do in order to teach in Korea will be what we cover right now. This will not cover the different programs for teaching or anything to do with a recruiter. So if you're looking for that information, that'll be a separate podcast later. But as far as can you qualify to teach English in South Korea, you need to be from an English speaking country in order to qualify. So countries that have English as an official language would be countries such as South Africa, England, United States, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. If you are not from a country whose official language is English, you are not legally able to teach English in Korea. So you can have a master's degree in English literature, you can have a doctorate in language studies, and if you're from France or Germany, if you're from China, you will not be able to teach English in Korea. So if that's describing your situation, then the answer is going to be no. If you are from one of the countries that I mentioned, it is possible to qualify to teach English in South Korea. What will you need? One, you need your teaching English as a foreign language or teaching English as a second language to others certificate. A lot of people for some reason do not mention this, but that is a requirement along with the bachelor's degree. If you're thinking about teaching abroad in general, and you are from an English speaking country, you do want to get that certificate. Some other countries just require that certificate in order to teach English, but countries like South Korea, you do have to have a bachelor's degree as well. If you have those, you will have to have your FBI background check if you're from the United States, which means you'll have to go down, you'll have to be fingerprinted, The background check, I believe, needs to be within six months of the time that you submit it. So you cannot take a background check when you're 18 and then take that background check when you're 21 and send it in. It needs to be a current background check. The reason for the background check is to make sure you don't have any violent or drug offenses in your past and then take that stuff over to Korea. They don't want drugs, they don't want gangsters, they don't want other people's problems coming to their country and teaching their young people. So you have to have that background check. As far as your degree, it does need to be from an accredited university and it needs to be notarized. The reason for that, it was said in the 90s, about the late 90s, there was a check and it was found that many teachers had lied about the college they went to. Some didn't even go to college and were in Korea making money. And so because of that, those teachers got deported and there's really strict standards as far as checking a person's background. So you do need to have a notarized um, bachelor's degree. And then you have to have that certificate as well. You also have to have a health screening done to make sure you're not bringing any diseases over to South Korea as well. So if you're asked questions about your health history or to provide proof of that, don't be offended by that. That's just part of the legal requirements. As far as how you can go about getting the certificate and the degree, most people do that online. You can go to a college and do that, but there are online schools that offer your teaching English as a foreign language or teaching English as a second 
language certificate online. If you go on Groupon, there's a ton of those offers. Normally they're under a hundred bucks. Some of them you can get as cheap as one to five dollars. So I would definitely say go ahead and check that out. See if that's something that you're wanting to do. As far as what you should look for in that program, if they have a bachelor's degree program and you do not have one, then you would want to check out, make sure that it's an accredited degree. Some of those companies do offer job placement as well. I mean, those schools, not the company, but they do offer some type of job assistance that you could get, possibly. So, it all depends on the country that you're looking to teach in. In Korea, it's iffy whether or not those would actually work. So, take that with a grain of salt if they offer job assistance. See who they're affiliated through. As far as the time to get that bachelor's degree and the cost, many online universities that do this, where they'll get you your teaching certificate and they will help you get your bachelor's degree. A number of them say it'll take about a year for you to get that degree through them and the cost will be around four to five thousand dollars. So four to five grand because you're only taking classes that help you teach English. You're not taking auxiliary classes or anything. So that's something that you do if you really want to teach in Korea, you may want to think about doing that if you don't have a bachelor's degree. For a thousand dollars more, with a lot of those companies, you can go ahead and get your master's degree as well. So, you're looking maybe five, six thousand dollars to get a master's degree in less than two years that you can take and teach abroad if you decide you don't like Korea anymore but you want to be in Asia, there's Japan, there's China, there's a lot of opportunities with that. So, there's nobody that I can recommend right now, so I'll just tell you to simply Google, do your research on that, but for a lot of people, they just don't know that you could go to school for four years, have a lot more debt, or if you go this route, if you can get a grant, if you can get a loan, depending upon what your financial situation is, you could very cheaply get a degree and possibly be able to teach in Korea. So if you want to go that route, definitely search around before you spend your money. This is the best thing I can tell you. As always, this podcast is based on my life, my experiences, and the things that I've gone through in Korean and Korean-American culture. If you'd like to read more about that, go ahead and go to wagokinway.com. You can reach me via email at contact at wagokinway.com. That's contact at w-a-y-g-o-o-k-i-n-w-a-y dot com. Social media links will be in the description box down below. And as always, please like this video, subscribe it, and please share it with as many people as possible that you think will benefit from it. Thanks again for listening, and as always, remember the best way to get rid of your nightmares is to live out your dreams. Talk to you later.